In this tutorial, I want to be showing you how you can cut out and remove backgrounds in Illustrator CC. So I'm in Illustrator and I've got this nice image from Unsplash. Unsplash is always the best, you should check it out. And it's what I want to do is cut the background out. So I've got this like, there's this axe and log here and I want to cut that out from the background. And you can see here how I cut it out and then I just created this effect with some texture and some color in the back. So the way we do this is we need to make a mask. So in to make a mask in Illustrator, what you need to do is go to your transparency panel. So to open the transparency panel, you have to go to window and then go down to transparency, which is located there. And you'll get this box pop up. And then what you can do, you can actually left click on the image and click make mask. And this will turn it into a mask. But just before we do that, we need to make our a shape from the pen tool first. So I'm just gonna leave this shape here. I'm going to, I don't have to select the image, so I'm just gonna lock it for now. I'll press P for the pen tool and I'll start to trace over this shape. So I'm gonna zoom in slowly using the Alt and my mouse wheel. I'm going to left click and start to drag out and do the outside of the shape there because we're gonna use it as our mask. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Try and go in the inside or inner part of the actual um, image or the, 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 sh the axe there. But obviously, whatever image you use will be a bit different. So I'm just going through here. Going along the edge. And if you need help with the pen tool, I do have a tutorial that shows you how to use it quickly and efficiently. I'm just going to press Shift X to just so I can see the stroke where it is. Zooming in as well, clicking, and now you can see we have this shape. I can change the color so you can see what it looks like. This is the shape that we have, right? So what I can then do from this is I want to unlock my background image. I'll select both and then click Make Mask. Literally, that's all you have to do, and it's now cut out. Using that shape, it's cut out the image below. If you want to go tweak the shape, I can click on the image here in the transparency section so you can see the left hand side. I want to click that and I can press A for the direct selection tool. And what I want to do, you can see you've got this left side and then we've got the right hand side. If I click the right hand side, you can see it will show me the mask. So I can then move the actual mask as well and it will cut it out as you can see there. So I can adjust it, right? So I've pretty much cut out that background. And if you have a more complex image, it will take a little bit longer to cut it out, but that's fine. So just make sure if you want to edit the mask, you need to select the black and white square thumbnail image here. If you want to go back, you click on the left-hand side, it will select the image. So another thing to point out as well, you can see the clip button is on. You want to make sure that it's on or else the mask won't click from the, clip it from the background image. I click that. I can also invert the mask as well. And because the outside is black, it's, um, it won't invert it, but you can see that. I can also click release and it will unmask the image and just reset it. So it will just separate it once from the beginning and it will have the separate shape and the separate image there. I can press Control Z to go back. One thing to note as well is if I am in the mask mode and I press, um, I'm going to get a shape. So I'll just press M and I'll draw our shape. You can see that my shape is white. If I make it black, it will hide and white will reveal. And because I'm in this mask mode, you can see in the thumbnail, it's adding that white shape into the black square, which is where the image is. So it will pretty much show anything that I'm putting with a white square. And then if it's black, you can see it was hiding it. So see that. I can delete this shape. So if we want to get out of this, you need to click onto the image and then click off. Left, just left click. So now if I make a shape, I can go back to normal creation, um, how I'd normally create shapes in Illustrator, right? But if you're, if you're inside the mask and then you try and start create designing stuff, it's going to show up in the mask and not actually in the um, artboard space. So just keep that in mind. So that's pretty much how you move, remove images from um, uh, background. And then what you can do, you know, you can create a nice little thing here. I can copy and drop it here and then maybe I want to add like a little bit of texture I'll go to my texture files from one of my um, graphics packs 
texture packs, which you can download on my website. And I'm just gonna drag this in. And then you can see that cool texture there. And that's how you do it. So thanks guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get updates on all the new content that's coming out every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.